Bandwidth and hosting for Japancast.net has been provided by Site5. Site5 offers web hosting starting at just $4.95 per month with 99.99% guaranteed uptime. Head over to Site5.com and sign up for your 30-day free trial today. Japancast.net is brought to you by Audible. Get a free audiobook download at audiblepodcast.com slash japancast. Over 75,000 titles to choose from, including hundreds of Japanese language books. Support us by supporting them. Visit audiblepodcast.com slash japancast today. Japancast.net Ah, <laughs> Japancast is your number one source for Japanese culture, customs, and language. This is episode number 28. Now, from Ninja Steve Jobs to Japanese Elvis fanatics, Japancast is your place to go. Yes. Happy New Year. So, starting off, first episode of 2011. Very cool. I wanted to, before we go on any further, just show you guys something on the ye o l d iPad y here. And you might not be able to see it too much from there, but let's see. That is the Japancast app running on the iPad. New version is coming out, it's actually waiting for approval. But if you have an iPad, it does work, as you can see.、Mm. Uh, this isn't version 1.5, though. This is version 1.03. Version 1.5 is being put together right now.、Mm. So, but it's actually really nice on the iPad because you have plenty of room to draw the characters.、Mm. You know, we've gotten emails from people who've used it and said they learned、right. uh, hiragana and katakana by using it because you. It's different when you just read over and over again. When you actually go through the mechanical motion with your hand of drawing the characters, you remember better than、right. just reading over and over again.、Mm. So, got some real positive feedback on that. Right.、Um, all right. So,、uh, up next, we have some news. But before that, we wanted to thank the first of our sponsors, which is our donators, you guys. Thank you. We have a list of you guys on screen here. Thank you so much for your donations. You keep us going. Really appreciate everything. I added some new people this month. So、right. thanks to the new folks. Make sure if you're a donator, you can send in email special requests. If you want us to cover something, you guys get first dibs on what we do. So, all right.、Uh, up next, some news from Japan. Just spotted this、uh, this morning. It's from the LA Times. A story about a gentleman named Koji Yama, who is an Elvis fanatic. In his view, there is nothing that's more American than Elvis from the 1950s, not the later giant collar spangled. Elvis, but the、oh, young Elvis, see,、yeah. you know,、okay. with the blue jeans and the black leather. He loved that.、Mm. He loved the 50s style. And in fact, he loved 1950s in America so much that when he was a teenager in 1979, he didn't tell his parents. He just left home <laughs> and moved to Okinawa because in Japan, that was only the only place he knew、much. of that、mm. was the most American place he could go. So he went there and eventually he married a, a native Okinawan. And convinced her to get into his rockabilly lifestyle, <laughs> making her wear poodle skirts. And eventually, they would dress up、uh, basically like、uh, John Travolta and Olivia Newton John、oh、from the movie Grease going around Okinawa. <laughs> wow. So, had a, a couple of boys, but later they divorced.、Mm-hmm. He, had, he, he opened up. Uh, five vintage stores in Okinawa selling vintage 50s American goods. But they, they divorced. And in 2002, he moved to LA to pursue his dream of you know, 
1950s American rockabilly stores. So he worked in two Japanese restaurants for eight years. And in January of last year, he finally opened his own shop in uh, Gardena, I believe that's how you pronounce it, California, selling vintage uh, wow. American goods. So now he spends his time between his shop and then the uh, Rhodium Flea Market in Gardena, where I guess a bunch of Japanese shop owners set up tables when they have the flea market, and then they sell these vintage American goods to Tokyo store owners who set up uh, fashion trends, like whatever's going to be the hot trend. They come to L.A., go to these flea markets and buy. He said he'll sell like Letterman jackets. You know, you guys in the States know this. You know, you get a football Letterman jacket that for $200, and then they take them to Japan and sell them for $400 to set the trend. And, and they were so, when the L.A. Times was interviewing these guys, they wouldn't show who was buying what because the trendsetter guys didn't want people in Japan to find out what the new trend was going to be. <laughs> so I thought that was pretty neat. Um, mm. And he said, even though he's, he's not able to see his two sons because he's living in LA, he feels like he's living the American dream. Mm. So kind of an interesting article, the mm. Japanese Elvis lover. I'm sure there are a lot of people. Who yeah. Love Elvis. Get to, <laughs> And you'll see the picture that I showed. Uh, he's got his hair slicked back, and he's got the tattoo, and mm. loves to wear white T-shirts with a pack of cigarettes rolled up, even though he doesn't smoke. Oh, that's that's so 50s style. You roll a cigarette hey, pack up in your sleep. Know. Yeah. I didn't know. When I was a kid, uh, Happy Days, the TV show, was real popular, and people wanted to dress up in 50s style, wear black leather jackets like the Fonz. <laughs> and uh, wear a white t-shirt and roll cigarette packs up in your shirt. You'd get candy cigarettes and you'd roll them up. <laughs> That's cool. In your shirt, yeah. That's cute. So, and actually, since it's New Year's, how about a New Year's uh, story? I saw this again this morning. Hmm. This is the year of the rabbit in Japan. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Usagi So because of that, um, there's a shop in Kawasaki that's selling daruma, that are usagi Aww. instead of regular daruma. Hey. So the Asahi News has done this video report and I thought we could check it out. It's really cute. So let's take a look at that and then uh, move on. Kawasaki Daishi no Omote Sando ni mise o kamaeru daruma senmon ten dewa lai nen no eto no usagi ni chinanda akai me ya tare sagatta mimi ga egakareta daruma ga narabelarete imasu. 参拝に訪れた人たちもその愛くるしい表情に思わず足を止め手に取って眺めたりしていました。うさぎだるまは耳が垂れた白色と耳が上がった薄ピンク色の2種類となっています。来年を飛躍の年にしたいという願いとうさ
Well, used to, you guys.、Mm-hmm. But probably now, I don't know now. But we say cup noodle.、Mm-hmm. Okay. So.、Mm-hmm. Cup noodle. How often do you eat? Do you guys eat, you think? If you're in college, every day of the week. <laughs> <laughs> like macaroni and cheese. Right.、Yeah. In Japan, too, if you are single, if you,、uh, you know, don't have very much money, it's really easy,、mm-hmm. uh, reasonable meal. You know, you get full. And,、uh, same thing, I guess. It's very popular in Japan. It has many different flavors. Kare,、mm-hmm. like curry,、mm-hmm. or like seafood,、mm, or like、uh, tomato base, and many different, like a Chinese you know, flavor. Or... So, okay. And let's study. Okay. Let's learn. From this commercial. From this commercial. Okay. What John, <laughs> John Bon Jovi,、mm-hmm. <laughs> what he's thinking about. Let's. <laughs> Find out. All right. You want to watch it first or we want to explain before、uh, we watch? Maybe let's explain first then. Okay.、Yeah. Okay. So, 